understand <laughs> the part of people who are sharing the word of God. As you all know, we are innocent. God Himself is the responsible. So we believe in Him, and with that believing, we can care also that news to other people. And uh, last, last Sunday, when the pastor was telling me that uh, I must prepare to, to share the word of God, I was uh, afraid because I, I didn't have something. Because when you read the Bible every day, when the, Bible, uh, the Holy Spirit touch you in one thing, you can take that thing and you study it, you can also share with others. But on that time, there was nothing. As I was going back home, my thinking was just on that thing. And God touched me also in one thing that I, I read one day, but I didn't have time to, to study it. And uh, I was now thinking how I can study it. Monday, all the week, I could not find a way. Only on Friday, I was working. And it just come in my mind that I can get some more evidence on what I supposed to, to study, and I thank the God. I, I thank God for that, and to be confirmed that it's from God. This morning, also, Pastor used just the conclusion of what I was planning to to, 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 to share, the prayer of Jesus. So let let us pray. Freedom's calling, chains are falling, hope is dawning, what is true? Day is breaking, night is quaking, God is making all things new. Jesus says, Lord, we thank you for this time. We believe in you. And we are like innocents. Because when we read the Bible, we find that Moses asked you who you are, what is your name. And you tell him that I am, my name is I am. And the book of John also is teaching us that in the beginning was the word. And when you are revealing your message to John, you tell him that your name is the word of God. So, we believe in your word. Because everything we are seeing, everything we are touching, was created by you, by the word of God. <coughs> And we take that word, who you are, so we are innocent. We let you to take control in everything we can say, in everything we can also hear, that you will teach us, you will make sure that your word will remain in our hearts and can produce also the fruit as it is your will. In Jesus Christ, we pray, Amen. Amen. So we are going to share about something that is common and everybody used to do it. If you don't ask, I think you are not a living, you are not living, maybe you are a dead person. Because we use all ways to ask. And as we were young, when you are taking something in a place, in Africa especially, your mother will beat you. You must ask. And when they are using it, they, they, they are beating you about one thing, you will change and you start now to ask when you need. And ask is so important in our life as a human being. You cannot go just to go to Paleta because you need something and you just take it away, they will put you in prison. But you will use to ask so that you can get it. 
And in asking him, we found that people change their life. They ask for something and they give them. And all their life change. And in asking also, also many people destroy their life. They went to ask for some something and it's turned for another thing. Like uh, we were watching a movie, a Nigeria movie. There was a man with, he used to make Godu, the magic thing. And when you ask him, he will not give you the good one, he will give you the bad one. If you are not with Christ, you will die later because of asking. And I remember when we, we were in the age, we used also, also the ask. When you are following a, a girl, and if you find that she's asking for something, you say, yes, this now this, it, it, it is my opportunity. You will make every effort to take that thing to give so that you can use now what you want. Uh, if you want to introduce uh, what they call Drage in French to speak to her that I love you, I want to and you will just use because why if she asked you and with asking also many people destroy their, their life they went to ask and they changed in another thing I remember in Congo the mother used to to warn their, 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 their daughter don't ask because they know what can be done on asking also. So in the Bible also, as we are Christian, we use also to ask because the Bible says, ask and it shall be given to you. It's something that they allow us to do. And many of us, when we have problems, we ask. And we know as a Christian, we, we, we must ask to God. Even if you want to ask for something to a person, or you are asking for a job, first you ask to God, and God will touch the person to give you. And sometimes when you ask good, you can get also. When you don't ask good, uh, you don't ask politely, you will not get it. I remember in Libya, we, 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 we lost a job. We were working in a good place. Not construction, just with the computer, because they were making uh, the, what they call it, the piratery. He went to England, he buy movies, music, and he will come, he gives to people, and he will, he will show you how to make them, to make the jacket and everything. And when they print them, they make it like original, and he used to say. And one day, my friend went just to ask because he was angry and he said, Asma, my fish mangeria. And the boss was very, very angry. The way he asked, he was not good. And he just asked, Stop working. You will anymore work here. Because the way he asked. And we also, Christian, we are using asking because we want to make God like a, a marabou. A person that when you want something, you can go to him and you ask. You know that he will, he will give you. And we are also using the word of God that say in, uh, in Matthew 7, seven, seven, ask and it will be given unto you. And when you, you use that word, you are so sure that you are going to get the thing. And sometimes when you don't get it, if you are not with the, the, the word of God, you will, if you, are, you were going to the church, you will not go. Because you were asking for something to God, but you didn't get it. You are now saying that the word of God sometimes is not true, because I was asking for something, but I could not get it. Why? Because we don't read the Bible. We, we don't study the word of God. We don't read it as it is. And sometimes also we are getting some of the information in the wrong way to believe that when you ask you can get. So we can you, we, we can see in the word of God. Uh, I don't know if Sister Marseille can help me to, to read in the book.